Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel as we take a look at another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse figure. Uh, it seems like lately that's all I've been opening. I mean, I got tons and tons and I have a few more. But for now, we are going to be unboxing Earth 2 Batman, which I believe it's not from an actual comic book or storyline i think it's more of a gaming one um and what gave it away was the little sticker here on the sides that says dc gaming seven inch batman negative earth or two earth batman so um not familiar with the character but so far i like what i see as far as the costume so uh without further ado uh, let's get this batman out of the packaging and i will be right back all right now that we have uh the batman here or bath earth two batman out of the packaging um, notice a few things right off the bat um, it is a, a, a good looking figure I'm actually digging the costume something I've never seen before um, it is first of all really cape heavy so the only thing that was holding him up right now was the cape but it was starting to tilt backwards but um, as far as the the, the figure itself it, it's a pretty wait hold on let me just go back here I kind of jumped the, the gun I was so um, just wanted to get right on it, but of course, um, no sense in talking about it. Stan comes with a trading card, actually. Um, this source material here, which we'll be going back to that in a second. Um, and again, this one here is actually Thomas Wayne again. Um, actually, I prefer the Flashpoint version of Thomas Wayne, but this is gives me an alternate Thomas Wayne that I don't have, so I'm happy for that. We're going to hold on to that card, but we're going to go back to it um, just for uh, a little... Uh, nicks and picks that i'm going to be uh talking about um the batarang it comes with only one batarang no hands no heads or anything typical mcfarlane you get what you get for 20 bucks um i do like this batarang it actually looks good it gives you the illusion that it's one of those that it's closed he opens them up and throws them so that's um i don't think i have a batarang like this or maybe i've gotten so many batarangs that i i don't remember but i uh, i love this one this one's actually pretty cool now uh, the figure itself again let's go back it is a nice looking figure um i do love when they have at least one closer fist but you know this one's actually not too bad the hands on this so um it's just going to make it a little harder when you're trying to do certain poses where or fighting poses because you know obviously you don't have but um i don't know if i can take these off i don't want to risk it because it looks like it's one piece um you know, and it doesn't have, yeah, I'm not going to risk it and try to exchange it. It looks all one piece in there together, so I don't want to damage it. But other than that, I love the face. I, li I like how they, uh, the eyes are red out, just like the uniform. Um, a nice detail on the uniform, too. I like this color black. This is uh, one of my favorites when they do the figures. It's uh, not glossy. It's not too shiny. Um, it's nice flat. It uh, sticks out where it needs to be. Um, so you can tell the difference between the gloves and the actual uniform same thing with the boots um, but other than that the cape I'm not too happy with it um, it's like I've seen it before just don't remember where but I don't like that curve to the side there yeah it's not um, I mean it's not a bad looking cape um, you can see some sort of you know it doesn't have much texture but it actually it's just this the part where it's uh, rounding off i'd rather go to the side or or you know something else but um yeah i mean i this is actually pretty good the way they did it here it's actually one piece with the cowl so uh, i think it's great now the only thing that i don't like is uh let's go back to the picture see the front of that here they did not match it up well at all like even to i mean it's just like I mean, you, if you want to have a match, you have to literally crunch them, arch them back. That gives you like the best, there, see that? That gives you that. Other than that, you know, if he's standing straight, that just, it was just lazy. They could have just done it there and then try to maintain it where if when you arch it back it, it matches up with the lines but and that and another thing that i found diff, um, weird uh the utility belt i kind of like they should have integrated some black in it around it would have looked a lot better but uh it's not totally bad at least he has um but they went with the flat color where everything else is shiny like it's all glossy even the line here even the cape has a better glossy finish than the utility belt um that and then 
lastly, I think that the boots are a little bit too chunky and small and small feet. Thus, um, it's one of the reasons why the figure won't stand up straight if you want it to have a straight up pose. Obviously, you know, you can pose it out in different positions here. If you arch it and you level it right, that will work. But then again, how much of that is actually the cape holding it in place? which, you know, I, I think is mostly the cape holding it in place. Uh, but other than that, when you, any other thing, obviously, thank God for the stands, they will come in handy. See, the cape is what's holding him up because he is very heavy. So it, it is kind of, even when you try to arch it, it's just too heavy for the figure. But uh, other than that, it's not a totally bad figure. Uh, I'm digging it. It's good. I give it a, a 6 out of 10. You know, um, on that aspect, as far as how uh, the detailing, uh, the cape, and you know the feet that are not only chunky but they seem small. Um, you know, it's if you compared to the other Batman feet, they're a little longer. I mean, not ridiculously longer, but just proportioned to the body. I I feel like this is just he's you know they're just too small. Now, articulation. I have to give it to you, this is one of the, probably one of the best articulated bodies. I know this looks like the Hush um, body maybe. Um, you can actually notice where, I was noticed it before, where if you look closely, I don't know, this might mean I show it here. You can see the outline of the bat sign in the chest. And it's like, you know, they did a good job of hiding it out, but you know it's there and you can see it it's in between there so if you have this figure looking closely even get a magnifying glass you can notice the original spot where the bat uh his back signal or his uh his batman sign on his chest was but again other than that the articulation is awfully really well that's not what i had in mind but it does come with a ball, double joint and ball joint as you can see but the articulation i mean Look at that, the head movement on it, it's great. That's one of the better movements. It doesn't hinder the back and it's actually, look, you can have a pretty good, and it does swivel around. Man, I know, well, all right, maybe that's why the articulation was so well because it was completely out. But still, it's great. Um, the arms, you can probably get it around, not as much because of the cape, but um, it does have some butterfly movement there. Um, it's a pretty good crunch to the front. And of course, we've seen the crunch to the back already, as I was uh, pointing out the outlines there of the uh, his uniform. Um, it does swivel around. Um, and then he does have uh, typical McFarlane joints there on the legs. You can do a split. That's pretty. The back, non significant, but the front, as always, on these figures are actually pretty good. Um, on the arm, he does have bicep swivel. It is there. Uh, double jointed. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Double jointed elbow. Uh, and the hand, you know, they got that in and out movement. It goes around. And they both go in and out, so you don't have two of them going opposite there. And then he doesn't have much of a leg swivel at all. Um, double jointed knees. Pinned, I might add. Um, I do also like how they actually, uh, for his knees, they actually integrated a little lighter shade color of gray. Um, and the whole uniform is actually like a, in between a light gray and a light black. Actually, darker black is actually not bad. And then, of course, typical McFarling joint. Um, it goes up and down. You do get some swivel. And, of course, the toes a little... It was stuck in the box that way, and it took me a long time to get it back, so just needs to be losing it up. Maybe a little bit of water might help there. But um, other than that, uh, you know, it's a different version of Thomas Wayne that we're used to. As we all know, we're used to this particular version. See, this version of Thomas Wayne is the best. This, I, to me, is one of the best, if not one of the best top McFarlane Batmans that there are out there, in my opinion. I mean, I really love it. I enjoy it. Um, I love this version of the Flashpoint one. Um, so it's good to at least have another Thomas Wayne added to the collection. Um, a few things here and there that I didn't like, but, you know, I, I get it. Um, but, you know, the way they're whipping out um, figures lately is just incredible. And then in some of them, 
you know, they're coming out so fast that they're starting to miss on some of the details that have made him great or ha has been able to him to acquire such a big fan base because hopefully I hope they're not taking shortcuts. But other than that, um, this is still a great figure. Like I said, it's made six out of 10 and you know, it, it works, it works. So again, um, and there you have it guys. Well, thank you for uh, watching my videos always. Um, again, subscribe, follow, thank you for your support. Um, and as always, continue to be a fine figure, and I will see you later.